So, so once we understand what performance is, once we define it clearly, and once we understand what drives it, we're then in a position to understand and improve it in organizations at virtually every level. And the way we do that is with what we call the performance improvement logic. And it's essentially seven steps that are very flexible that can be applied in all kinds of ways. The first two are simply to define the work outputs or the products of work that we care about and that are valuable because they're linked to business results. The third step is then to identify what people need to do, the behavior that is going to produce those, those outputs. The fourth step is to figure out how we're going to measure. We might measure business results, we might measure work outputs, or we might measure behavior or some, some combination of those because we want to be able to monitor performance to understand how well our efforts to manage and improve it are going. We then use the six boxes model, which is our model of behavior influence, to understand and then arrange the optimal conditions for people to perform. Once we've done that, we can use our data, our measurement, to understand how well it's going and make changes as needed. And finally, as part of what we do, we teach the simple language of all of these models to everybody involved. Because once this is in place, we have the potential for lots of different people at different levels and in different levels and functions in the organization to share this understanding of performance so they can collaborate to improve it. And of course, the potential, the big vision of this is the possibility of a performance-based organization in which a shared understanding and practical application of these models helps everybody participate in continuous improvement.